different ways to come up with character ideas. The first one and the most important one or the most prevalent one should be imagination. The second way should be external ideas, which can be movies or Pinterest or Pinterest or Pinterest. See what I'm talking about? Everyone goes to the same source. So that is why I found a new way that, we, that you can use. And it's a character design hack. If you don't have any ideas or motivation or you're kind of burnt out or tired from using the same source over and over again, then this video is going to bless you. When I was younger, around 7th grade, that's before I did video games, I used to play Sims and some other games like IMVU only to create characters. I didn't even dive into the game or anything. Actually, what we're going to do now is we are going to download IMVU and we're going to make a character. And after that, we are going to draw the character. We're going to be doing character art, but the process is going to be including actually a virtual game called IMVU and I played that when I was younger. So that's actually a hack, a really nice cheat that can be used. I don't even know how I didn't think about that. I just thought about that last week and realized it's a really good idea because there are just so many choices in IMVU from what I remember, all sorts of character elements and things that can be played around with. We're not actually going to play the game, but we are just going to get into the create a character part and make a really nice character design. Oh, okay. Oh, nice. Glossy skin. Let's do that. <laughs> Okay, let's start with skin and makeup. Doll skin, corpse. Okay, I think I'll either go with corpse or vitiligo. What? Why doesn't this one have a face? Ooh, I like this little purplish skin. There's so many choices. I think I like the purple one. Let's put it on. Ooh, nice. Okay, so look at that. I can look at my character from every single angle. And this is great because when I'm drawing her, it's gonna be really useful. And from what I remember, the game also has pose packs and um, different sort of poses. Oof, what? Goddess of Death? That's amazing. I'm not gonna try it on now. Because I think it's gonna remove the other skin. <gasps> There's even a sea dragon. Like, imagine all the possibilities you have while playing this or creating a character. You can do anything. Look, they even have a tiger zebra thing. Earthy has tattoos. Dryad. Oof, dryad. Really? That's so awesome. I'm getting excited. <laughs> it seems maybe this video is going to expand and become a series or something if it turns out to be so fun. Let's go to the eyes. Whenever I feel like I'm not getting any ideas for character design and I don't even feel like looking into Pinterest because I want a more unique design that nobody can have or like have the reference of, I sometimes look for character creation games like Sims, like IMVU, and I think there's more that maybe we'll try out in future. I think I like this one the most. Mm-hmm, it blends in too much with the skin. Let's just stick with the one we found. Oh. Next is hair. Now, I remember there were a lot of options for hair. So let's just scroll down and, ooh, meh. Wait a second, there's something wrong about the head. I think that's what we need to fix first. We are doing a mythical character. Maybe we can find something that looks, I don't know, innocent and magical or evil magical. Oh, I really like how it is now. I added skinny thick scaler and a small waist scaler. And I think I'm gonna keep them for now, but I'm not sure about... Oh, nice. <laughs> Isn't that what guys like or something? Okay, so there are diamond nails and tattoos and... Ooh, elf ears. Hmm. How about elf ears? What? Why do I have a chat invite? Nope. I'm here only to do a character. This edit gives me a dragon leg tattoo, so... Let's see how it's gonna look. That's it? Really? No, go away, guy. Hmm, I don't know if that's how it's supposed to look. I think it's hidden in the thigh or something because she's thick. Okay, let's remove it and go away. Oh, let's get the elf ears. <gasps> There's even a tail. I'm so lost. Let's just skip that part for now and look for clothing. Um, what just happened? Why is she doing that pose? I think I'm gonna go for something colorful. I think I like that. Let's try it. Okay, so here is where I got to with the process. I gave her, I think we removed the elf ears because right now there are two ears for some reason, which it's not a bad thing. I mean, that could make an interesting character design. Let's keep it for now and check. 
but I think the hair needs to be different as it's covering her face. Mm, too cute for the devil look. Okay, I think I like that a lot actually. Okay, so I think this is a really good look. But before proceeding, let's just try and see if we can find some shorter hair which is going to show the ears and show all the details which are a bit obscured by the whole hair thing. I like this really a lot. Wow. Well, let's forget the red hairs and I think there were some settings where I could get baby hairs and make the character look way more realistic. There are a few things that I want to get and that's gonna be... Ooh, beauty marks. Let's add that. That's gonna be a cat eyeliner. Yay, found one. And other than that, red baby hairs. Hey, it turns out there is red baby hairs. Trust me, anything you look for in the search bar, you're gonna find it. Where do I go to the cart? This. So I added some sort of chain, but I don't know if I'm going to keep it. If anyone's good at that game, don't make fun of me for not knowing where the settings are or how to do anything. Last time I played it was like eight years ago. I just want to change the head because it looks a bit weird. I think it could look more unique. Add some more facial accessories like maybe a plaster or something. I think I found one which is fit because it's literally, it spells out devil on it. Let's try that. But I still don't get how do they make the faces look different in a lot of the pictures. I'm going to speed up the process and show you the character that I ended up with using IMVU. Now the question is, should I do it pencil or digital? I felt pencil would be more fun, but digital would be more expressive because I can use vivid coloring. Let's go with digital. I created a sketch using sketch brushes on Procreate and then I airbrushed the main shapes on and gave her voluptuous hips and curves. That's probably my favorite part about this character, even though I exaggerated it a little bit. For the shirt, I didn't draw the whole snakeskin vibe. Instead, I measured it would be far easier and will look better if I borrowed some patterns from Google Images and then made them into a clipping mask and played with the settings, making these prints function as an overlay. After this, I used a brush to add hard and soft light. These are settings on Procreate layers. I have a quick 10 minute video on Procreate basics and I'm going to link it in the description so that you can check it in the end of the video if you're interested. I exaggerated the abdominal muscles and changed some details about the accessories. The process is really enjoyable and it took a generous amount of time even though it feels like I did it really fast in the time lapse. Let's call her Linda. Maybe Linda is Lucifer's ex-girlfriend. Next time, we should make a story or something. Linda and Lucifer and why they got in a fight over who should set the church on fire. Okay, this is gory. Ignore me. I say Linda looks 26 years old, yet she is in reality 600,000 years old. That must have messed with her motivation and excitement about living. She is probably bored all the time and does crazy things for a hit. Tall Linda with her fiery red hair, with her pet serpent called... Let me think. Zmia. That is Snake in Bulgarian. Sounds evil already, right? And he has attachment issues. He's an overly attached pet. Yeah? And Linda is here on Earth in constant attempt to ruin Lucifer's plans and plots. This would make a cool comics, wouldn't it? If you enjoy my content, follow my channel. The video is not over yet, but I'm just telling you, I upload once a week. And if I ever skip a week, know I've been abducted by aliens. Aliens aka uni, abducted aka assignments. Also, if you enjoyed this video, you can buy me a coffee and you can buy the aliens a coffee. I will leave the link. You can also buy Linda and Lucifer a coffee. I just don't want you to be broke. So back to Linda. As you may have noticed, I began adding details not available in our original character. And that's fine. I added beauty marks almost on every exposed part of her body. I added some perfect imperfections like the dark eye circles. The look in her eyes varies from the original also. And it is because I darkened the green and specified the light and the dark more. Therefore, it looks like Linda is staring at something specific. Meanwhile, in the original, it looks like she's not looking at anything in specific. Just appears she's looking at something beyond the room she's in. I surprised myself with how well I painted the feet and the high heels. Overall, a really great and astonishing result. I have linked my buy me a coffee link and also my Redbubble. You will most probably find Linda as a design there. Anyways, thank you for being here and see you in the next one. And see the aliens in the next one. Okay, bye.